Hey you guys, Allie back again. I just wanted to show you real quick before I started my video what one of my dear friends and subscribers sent to me in the mail. I got it a package from Amazon the other day and I didn't know what it was and inside was a note that said that she had binge watched my channel and she believes in me and that I can do it. So she sent me this contraption that holds my phone on the windshield which is awesome it makes everything so much easier and then she also sent me what I put on my rear view which I don't know if you can see it but it says keep fucking going so that is exciting I'm gonna throw you guys right in this thing real quick Sorry, not the most professional. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys our week eight results. So, sorry, you're bouncing. The week eight results. So, I'm down 21.2 pounds from 410, so I'm at 388.8 right now. And that is 5.17%, so halfway to my first goal of 10%, that's awesome. Amy is down 12.8 pounds, which is 4.56% for her, so that is amazing. I'm so proud of us. And I got my hair done this week, which is awesome. I hope it looks all right. And, oh, the pictures that I wanted to show you guys. So we went to dinner with our family on Friday night, and including my aunt and her friend and my sister's mother-in-law, who, who we call my mom too, because we love her so much. And she, my aunt, said something about how she could see it in my face that I lost weight. And I, I see me every day, every day. I don't see it. I just don't see it. So, and neither does my husband. So, I put together a little comparison and boy did I see it. So, this is from when we started at Thanksgiving to now. Like, do you see... The difference just look at the difference in my eyes like you can see my eyes it's crazy and then I showed Amy and she was like wow that's awesome I can't see it in my face though and I said oh wait till you see the comparison I made for you because um hello you can see her eyes too I don't know what it is about her eyes but this is amazing we are so pumped about this because if that's two months can you imagine what six months is gonna be that's exciting tonight is game night at my house so we're having a bunch of friends over, we ordered pizzas, I'm going to have leftover salmon and broccoli and cheese, maybe some homemade cheeses and guacamole, I may have half a slice of pizza, um, I don't know, oh I said um again, sorry. So I may have half a piece of pizza, I'm undecided, so it's just been a crazy day at work, it was just really stressful and that's okay i mean you know work gets stressful sometimes but i love my job it was my year anniversary today so that was exciting my um sister's mother-in-law my mom came by and she's leaving tomorrow for hawaii which is where she lives and i wanted to see her one last time and look what she brought me she brought me flowers because it's my anniversary so that's exciting. That was really sweet of her. It made my day because today was just crazy. So it definitely made my day. What are my favorite meals of the week? I, I have several. <laughs> I have a few snacks and stuff like that. I did make egg roll in a bowl this week. I did not make it with ground pork, which is a lot of the different recipes that are out there. I made it with breakfast sausage and I used half a pound of breakfast sausage for three meals for egg roll in a bowl. And you can Google it anywhere. There's tons of recipes out there. I just used sausage instead of pork and I cooked the whole pound of sausage and threw the other half pound in the freezer so that next weekend I can make sausage and cream cheese stuffed mushrooms for the Super Bowl so that'll be delicious. We are also having wings and I don't know what else. Um, what else did I, last night I made seared salmon and it is the best I have ever made fish in my life. Me and Chris were like this is so good. It was just in a pan. I just seared it on the stove top with some avocado oil. I seasoned them with Old Bay salt and pepper, but man, it was just something about how they were cooked. They were so good. We also did mashed cauliflower last night. It wasn't really mashed. It was just, I got a bag of rice cauliflower and I cooked it and I mixed it with sour cream and butter and cheese and bacon and dried chives. And then I put green onions on top. I don't mind the consistency of, of rice cauliflower and neither does he, but if you could, if you wanted to mash it, I'm sure that you could. 
what else today i had grilled nuggets from chick-fil-a for work because i didn't leave work it, again it was crazy i forget how good their grilled nuggets are i don't like grilled chicken in the morning it's just a preference i just i don't know i just think it's weird but chick-fil-a's grilled nuggets for lunch were delicious i had that and a side salad with avocado ranch which is a great option for keto that whole meal because it's low carb and you bump up your fat with that avocado ranch so I think, uh, what else? Golden Corral. Oh, we went to Golden Corral yesterday, me and Amy, because I had the day off. So we went for breakfast, and Golden Corral has a bad rep, but I really enjoy it because I can get a little bit of eggs, I can get a little bit of bacon. Amy had some smokehouse chicken that she took the skin off and ate the chicken, it was really good. I got some zucchini, some broccoli, some cucumbers. They had pepperoni on the salad bar and pepper jack cheese cubes. So I love that. Just getting a little bit of everything. It's one of my favorite things. And my dad loves Golden Corral for breakfast. Um, he is not keto. <laughs> not at all. But he definitely supports our keto journey. And we enjoy going there when he's in town because it's a good option for all of us. And then the other thing that I wanted to tell you guys about was I made homemade Cheez-Its. Basically, I just took the sliced cheese and I put it in the oven on a pan lined with parchment. I cut each piece into 16 pieces, which sounds small, but they spread out just a little bit and they're the perfect like little bite-sized cracker like Cheez-Its. Here's the thing. A lot of people bake cheese like that, but let me tell you, if you sprinkle on a little bit of salt, it is a game changer. That is what makes them taste like Cheez-Its. They are so good. I've been eating them this week with guacamole and it's just a great keto like macro snack. So I've been kind of obsessed with that. I feel like me and Amy both feel like we didn't lose as much weight this week as we could have um, because we both lost around a pound which is less than we have been. I mean, any loss is a good loss. Don't get me wrong. I'm not discouraged. I'm going to keep going. No worries. But we are going to focus on upping our water intake. Both of us drink a decent amount of water, but we have drank a little too many diet sodas this week. Um, for me, about one a day. So I'm going to try and cut back to one every other day and, you know, see if that helps. So I think that's it. Uh, I went over my favorite meals. If you guys have any questions, any comments, uh, I think I said um a little bit less this video, so that's a good thing. If you have any suggestions of videos that you want to see me do, um, a Kroger haul, Kroger keto haul, like what I get in my click list order every week if you're interested in seeing that I could definitely do that so let me know and um, like I said if you have any comments just leave them below in the comment section I love to read what you guys write and I always answer back so I'm so glad that you guys enjoy watching I will continue making these videos and here's to seeing less of me in my next video